Hello YouTube and people of the interwebs, welcome back to another video. Now, Doctor Who Revolution of the Daleks aired like two or three weeks ago, so that's out done. What a fantastic episode that was. Have you had work done? You can talk. Now shut up and run. Anyway, now that that special is done and out the way, that leaves us with the probable, like, 10-month wait for Doctor Who Series 13. Although that seems like ages away, they have actually been filming Doctor Who Series 13 for quite a few months now. So join me in today's video as we take a look at everything we know so far about Doctor Who Series 13. So, overall, we know that there's going to be eight episodes. Now, that could be seven episodes and one special, similar to how series 11 and 12 had ten episodes and one special. The BBC have said in various places that we'll be getting eight new episodes in 2021. Could that mean Revolution of the Daleks is included in that? Because technically, that was in 2021 as well. Almost certainly not. Matt Strevens has said in interviews that there's going to be eight new episodes, so I assume that, that that's not including Revolution of the Daleks. But it could possibly include another special, which is probably like New Year's Day of 2022, or, fingers crossed, they're going back to the Christmas slot, because that would be brilliant. We don't actually know the structure of this series, or how many episodes, or two-parters, etc., but my prediction is it's gonna be like series 12. In a similar vein to Spyfall, we're gonna get a two-part opener, then, like, one-part stories, all the way up until a two-part finale. Or maybe the finale will be one part because they've had to cut back due to COVID. And yeah, I should have mentioned, that is the reason we have this, like, lack of episodes this year, which is completely fair enough. We are living through a global pandemic, so any Doctor Who they can produce, it's brilliant. Chibnall himself has said he was really excited to just go back to producing and creating Doctor Who after having this massive break. Now you know the video is getting serious because I've got up my notes. Second thing we're going to talk about is the returning characters. Now these characters I'm about to list are definitely returning. We know, we, we just, we just know. We'll start with the obvious. We've got Jodie Whittaker playing the Doctor as we have done since 2018, technically 2017, but you, you know what I mean. This is going to be her third series in the role of the Doctor and possibly her last series, but we'll touch on that a little later in the video. We've got companion Yasmin Khan played by the wonderful Mandip Gill. Once again, we've had this character since 2018. Then on New Year's Year's Day, we got it confirmed that there's a new addition to the TARDIS crew, Dan, played by John Bishop. Now, these other characters that are confirmed for the series are sort of more obscure. One, we have Dan's parents. Now, how do you know Dan's parents are going to make an appearance in the series? Well, I have this wonderful video clip. And so he wanted it to be based in Liverpool, and that's where the Doctor was going to get the new companion. That video clip confirms the validity of these tweets made by the wonderful Sebastian Boyle. I'm not going to read them word for word, but do feel free to pause the video if you want to. Sebastian talks about how the world's being invaded by aliens, presumably the Sontarans. Dan is with both his parents, and between them they figure out that the probic vent is the weakness of the Sontarans. He also discusses the fact that there's a scene in a car between Dan and and his parents. There will be a link in the description to this guy's Twitter page where you can read all of this stuff. Apparently he was in some sort of Zoom online interview with John Bishop for his college or something, and he did the cool kid thing of asking about Doctor Who. That guy's links are in the description. I presume this is going to be Dan's mother and father. Now, if I cast your minds back to when we had some filming images and filming video, there was an elderly guy who was whacking Sontarans with a saucepan. After hearing what John Bishop had to say, I am going to assume that is Dan's dad. And the person with the dad is probably Dan's mum, which means we are probably going to be exploring the more domestic side to, like, the companions' lives again, introducing Dan's family. Now, this next character we know is in, in the series, I have no name for, no idea who she is, but this person... She is confirmed to be in the Weeping Angel episode, because, you know, there's a Weeping Angel in the picture. Fashion-wise, she looks like she's from either the 60s or the 70s, maybe a friend of a companion, maybe... I don't even know. Maybe she's just a side character. We'll have to wait and see. Now, I'll continue the list of returning characters. However, these are characters that are incredibly likely to return, but it's not 100% confirmed. First up, we have the fantastic John Barrowman as Captain Jack. Now, once again, there is quite a bit of evidence pointing towards John Barrowman making a return. 
For one, he is literally living in Cardiff right now. I'm in Cardiff and uh, I left Los Angeles on Thursday. Also, the only picture we've had of him for the past, like, five days, he's covered his hair. Now, you might be thinking, Joe, why does it matter that he's covered his hair? Ah. Well, John Barrowman's natural hair at the moment is bright white. If he was playing the role of Captain Jack, as they did in Revolution of the Daleks, they'd dye it brownie black again. You all met Jack, right? Hey, Silver Fox. Hello. So if he's intentionally covering up his hair for this photo, does that not suggest maybe he's dyed it back and he's trying to keep it a secret? Also, due to COVID, the only reason you can travel across countries is for work-related reasons. Now, we do know that John Barrowman is going to be making some sort of appearance on, like, Strictly Come Dancing or Dancing on Ice or one of those crappy dance shows. Maybe that is the sole reason for him being in Cardiff. However, there is once again the strong possibility that Jack is coming back for series 13. Also, narratively, if we look at where it left off in Revolution of the Daleks, he kind of just dipped. Like, he disappeared. Lost track of time. When Cooper sends her love, by the way. There was no proper farewell or goodbye. Send my love to Gwen. Okay, bye. And we know how Chibnall loves to wrap up characters well, like Ryan and Graham hearkening back to their original scene on the hill. So Jack is likely coming back for series 13. I will be incredibly surprised if he isn't. Now, we've got another Jack who's probably coming back, Jack Robertson. Now, if I cast your minds back to Arachnids in the UK, he was running for president. Are you Ed Sheeran? Is he Ed Sheeran? Everyone talks about Ed Sheeran roundabout now, don't they? I am not Ed Sheeran. I am Jack Robertson, and this is my hotel. He's running for president in 2020. Ed Sheeran? No, him. Then with Revolution of the Daleks, he helped Leo create this new race of Daleks. And in the end of the episode, it's said he could have a revived presidential run. There's even talk of a revived presidential run for you. Well, I can't really answer to that. He hasn't got his comeuppance for all his evil doings, which to me suggests Jack Robertson's coming back. Also, if it is to believe that this is Jodie's last series, we'll probably get like Jack Robertson against the 13th Doctor one last time. Also, actor Chris Noth himself has said he'd be up for returning. So yeah, he's likely coming back for series 13 as well. Now I'll lump these two together. Graham and Ryan, now former companions of the 13th Doctor, played by Bradley Walsh and Tossin Cole. Now, I don't mean that these characters are going to be like full-time companions again, but it is likely that they are going to stay on in the show and sort of drop in and out as the Doctor returns to Earth. Because their ending did set up for them to come back. Also, they mentioned two really interesting things, but once again, I'll touch on that later in the video. Now, my next prediction, this isn't confirmed anywhere, but the Ruth Doctor, I'm pretty sure she's gonna show up again. Like, if we're having this whole timeless child thing, surely Ruth has got to make another appearance. Because if she doesn't, Joe Martin's wonderful talent and portrayal of the Doctor will be completely wasted. Let me take it from the top. Hello, I'm the Doctor. I'm a traveller in space and time. Now, just the generic one, Yaz's family, so her sister Sonia, her dad and her mum, I can't remember what their names are, but yeah, Yaz's family are probably coming back. Now, on to confirmed returning villains slash monsters. First up, we have, as everyone knows by now, the Sontarans. Now, this is really exciting. We've seen quite a few pictures and filming images of these Sontarans. And, oh look, it's John Bishop. We've had one with their helmet off, but it was from a really, really far distance, so we couldn't really see the new prosthetics. But I have to say, I am loving the new armoured look. We also know for a fact now that the Weeping Angels are back for this series. We've had multiple filming pictures of the Weeping Angels as well. One, it just going down like a street in Cardiff, and the other on that beach with that character that I showed earlier in the video. Once again, we don't know contexts to, like, either of these things. But yeah, we know for a fact Sontarans and Weeping Angels are cropping up in series 13. Now, the interesting thing I mentioned earlier about Ryan and Graham, like, at the end of Revolution of the Daleks, Ryan pointed out to Graham that he'd seen gravel creatures and trolls. Troll invasion, that's what the locals are saying. And you know there's a quarry in Korea that's shut down because the workers are reporting they saw gravel creatures come to life. Now, gravel creatures come to life, that sounds an awful lot like Weeping Angels. And a troll invasion. 
Sontarans. So I think maybe we are going to see Graham and Ryan call up the Doctor and Yaz and say, Oi, right, you need to get yourselves back to Earth and sort these people out. Now, this character, I can't say 100% certainty, but it's like 90% sure. Sasha Dewan, as the Master, will be making a reappearance in Doctor Who Series 13. Not only does it make narrative sense, Mandip Gill also uploaded an Instagram picture a few months back of Sasha and herself getting COVID tests. We know that Mandip was filming Doctor Who at that time, so the only logical assumption is Sasha and Mandip were getting COVID tests so they could go onto the set of Doctor Who to record for the new series. So yes, Sasha, the best master, is making a return. Now, with that, we have the likely returning villains. Once again, they're not confirmed, but it just makes sense. The Cybermasters. So if we've got the master, we've probably got the Cybermasters alongside him. Because if we remember back to the Timeless Children, the master shouts, oh, you, 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 you. Cybermasters and him presumably escaped Koshamas' destruction of Gallifrey. Speaking of Gallifrey, it's incredibly likely that the Time Lords or Tectayun or Rassilon or some Time Lord presence like that will make a return. Chibnall has stated in interviews that he's not dropping the Timeless Child subplot, so it's only logical to assume that someone like Rassilon, who we know isn't on Gallifrey anymore, is gonna make a return. Now, here's purely speculative, but the Daleks, because as I said at the beginning, if we are getting seven episodes and a special, it would fit in with Chris Chibnall's pattern of series, and then a Dalek special, a series, and then a Dalek special, and then a series, and then another Dalek special. Maybe making a trilogy of Dalek specials? Maybe this one will be a sequel to Revolution of the Daleks, just as Revolution was a sequel to Resolution. That was a difficult sentence to say. Now for the settings and locations of the series. First up, we have Liverpool. Not only is John Bishop a Liverpudlian. It's also been confirmed by John Bishop in that Zoom interview thing that the story is going to be set in Liverpool. He, um, he wanted to base it in Liverpool because the, the, the series always begins from somewhere, the last one was from Sheffield. And so he wanted it to be based in Liverpool and that's where the Doctor was going to get the new companion. We also see Dan's mate from Liverpool with a Liverpool accent in Liverpool. Liverpool is going to be a feature of the next series. And presumably so is Sheffield. Just like Series 11 sort of focused around Sheffield, Series 13 is probably going to focus around Liverpool, but they'll probably still go back to Sheffield because once again that's where Yaz is from, that's where Yaz's family live. Now a more obscure one which we have roughly confirmed is a story set during the Crimean War. Now from filming pictures this is suggested to be the Sontaran episode, but equally we've seen the Sontarans in the present day, so maybe it's some sort of time loop, but we, we know the Crimean War has something to do with it. Now, once again, this one is purely speculative, but I assume we will be taking a trip back to the ruined Gallifrey, because timeless child, time lords and stuff. We could also possibly be seeing Cardiff, because if Jack's back and there's something to do with Torchwood, as was almost set up in Revolution of the Daleks with that little Gwen Cooper cameo, maybe we'll see more of Cardiff City Centre again. Now, when is this series actually set and when is it gonna air? Well, from the filming pictures, we can see jack-o'-lanterns and like pumpkins on people's doorsteps. So presumably it's set in and around the Halloween period, which would also be when the series airs because Chris Chibnall and everyone has said late 2021. They said the same for series 11. Series 11 aired on October 7th 2019 so it would only make sense to once again air the series in October. This time probably late October as you have a reduced episode count. That's pretty much everything we know. Now for more sort of speculative ideas. You've probably seen it by now. It's been heavily, heavily rumoured that this is Jodie Whittaker's final series as the Doctor. That would give her like a four-year tenure as the Doctor, a three-series tenure, which that's, that's average for a Doctor. Maybe at the end of these eight episodes, we will see a new actor take on the mantle of the Doctor. Do let me know in the comments who you'd like to see play the next Doctor. Also, would you like me to make a video in the future 
future talking about casting ideas for the Doctor. Maybe I could do a discussion video with some other people. Let me know what you want in the comments down below. Anyway, that does wrap up today's everything we know so far about Doctor Who Series 13. If you did enjoy, please do remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you know any more information, please do comment it down below because, you know, I love to keep up to date. That truly does bring us to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Also, if you haven't already, do go and check out um, reacting to Doctor Who memes, which I did with a group of epic people. It's not my conventional sort of video, but it's fun nonetheless, so I'd really appreciate it if you went and checked it out. Thank you. Don't forget to click below. Subscribe to the Confused Adipose.